Today we're here with Nikki Fett, who joins us from the other side of the country to talk about things that are relevant to my interests. Nikki, thanks so much for joining us. Hey Matt, thanks for having me. Nikki, I've seen a bunch of your work on the replica props form in the costume section, and as with everyone else, I'm impressed with the stuff you do. Can you give me a quick rundown of the costumes you've done in recent history? I think um, my first major project was the Catwoman project, the uh, Batman Returns Catwoman. So uh, I, I really enjoyed Tim Burton's rendition of it, so I decided, you know what? I friggin' love that. I want it. I want it. I want it on my body right now. And so I decided to start building that one, and my first idea was, I'm gonna go to Comic-Con it, but I'm kinda scared to be all like, sexy Catwoman, so I'm gonna zombify this thing. And I'm gonna look a mess, and my neck's gonna be falling off, and my eyes are gonna be all weird, and I'm gonna have blood pouring out of my mouth. And that's exactly how I went to Comic-Con. When we got there, it was just cameras, and it was you walk two feet, and you stop for two hours because everyone was taking a picture of us. It was the most overwhelming thing on the planet. Other costumes I have made were things like mostly big makeup projects. Like I have decided, hey, I want to look like a Navi from Avatar. I want to look like Kratos for no reason. I do some crazy Kratos makeup. It's just so fun. Um, other big projects that I did were probably uh, how I went to PAX. I went to Pax East as a dragonborn, and it was a lot of fun to make. From I made everything from the helmet to the chest armor to the pauldron to all the different assembled furs and leathers, and we even went as far as to make different jewelries and accessories and animal bones and just beads and weird feathers in my hair, stuff like that. And uh, on top of it heavy makeup application because I wanted to look disgusting again like I feel kind of nervous being like sexy lady so I like to cover myself in just gore and disgusting like I just crawled out of battle just recently we did this year's comic con it was just about a week ago and it was it was completely nerve-wracking it was my first costume where I was actually not all gored up and I dressed as witchblade Una, the first wielder. So I had like a loincloth on and even though I was a warrior, I felt naked. I remember stepping out of Steven's car since it was freezing in the morning. I stepped out of the car and I'm like, oh my god, I'm naked. Oh my god, it's 50 degrees. And so um, I'm walking into this convention hall and I'm scared to death. And uh, yeah, it was completely nerve-wracking. Like I cannot understand how most girls could do it. I just, I was scared to death. I was, I was calling up my friends and I was shaking and it was, it was hellish, but I got through it and once I got in there, I was okay. Like once you see all the other people and you see all the other costumes and, and people aren't being disrespectful, they're just like, wow, you look so cool. It's, it's really awesome. I tried making a Psylocke costume for a while, but it all kind of crumbled and the costume got destroyed. Maybe I'll go back to it, but I kind of doubt I will. I think I just want to make big crazy costumes from now on, like where I'm all built up into this thing, instead of like a tight swimsuit kind of deal, because I like looking like things. <sighs> a quick question I know is on the minds of my viewers. Are you naked right now? And can you please answer that question in the form of a magic trick? I think the thing that's made the biggest splash lately is your Witchblade costume. Tell me more. What inspired you to do that build? What inspired me to be Witchblade is basically my love for the comics. I think Witchblade's awesome. I, I truly didn't have the balls to be Sarah Pizzini at Comic-Con because I feel like the costumes that I liked were just so much less covering and Spirit Gum is like honey. It hardly sticks at all. It's like the worst adhesive ever. Like after a while you start like your nerves are shot, you're sweating, and this stuff's just peeling off of you. So I seriously couldn't 
Imagine having a full suit on, only stuffed by spirit gum, and this thing literally peeling off me in front of thousands of people. It's bad enough that some of the shots of my wine cloth, like, you could almost, like, see in there, and it's been getting way too much attention. But for the most part, like, the flap that I sewn in, it worked really well. And that thing was on so strong, it was actually cutting into my hips, and I have bruises all over from this costume, especially this one here. Yeah, awesome.